Yeah, Katie, with this deadly crash out here on 95, still traffic has not started moving past where they blocked off the road. You can take a look at it right now. They've actually put up some traffic cones, but still everyone is in place. Things have kind of shuffled around a little bit, and we're seeing officers going around with flashlights, most likely gathering every evidence and taking pictures. But we still are working to learn exactly what happened, how many vehicles and people could be involved. It appears that there's a tow truck that has at least three vehicles on top of it that appears to be involved as well. But you can see there's a lot of people standing around trying to work on this too so that hopefully traffic can get opened back up. An alternate route, as Katie said, is on taking US 1. We're going to update you here as soon as traffic gets moving again and as soon as we learn more information about what exactly happened. Live in St. John's County, Renato DiGregorio, First Coast News on your side.